guys! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll be doing a simple makeup look that you could use if you're going to wear a motorcycle helmet, particularly a modular type of helmet. So this is the makeup look that I did for a motorcycle helmet. So by the way, just to be clear, I actually don't drive a motorcycle. I actually just ride at the back. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, now let's proceed with this makeup look. So first, I'm going to show you the kind of helmet that I'm going to use for this video this one so this is a modular type of helmet modular type meaning that this is a combination of a full face helmet and a three quarters helmet so that is based on uh, the research that i did <laughs> okay so basically a modular type of helmet can be flipped up in this part just like this here so with this kind of helmet, for me, I suggest that you don't have to put on uh, a full face makeup because the tendency is if you're going to put on full face makeup, the areas where there are paddings on this helmet will actually just scrape off any makeup that you placed on your face. It's because when you wear this, just to give you an idea. There. See? So, um, this is the only part of the face where you can put on makeup. The rest of the areas, like here, on the uh, half of your forehead, here, on these parts, you cannot put on makeup in there, although you can, but I advise not to because the tendency is it will just be scraped off by the paddings of the helmet. So for me, I will just retain the makeup on this part of the face. Okay, so when I close this, there, we still have a space in here. so. Yeah, you can still put on uh, lipstick if you want, or any lip product for that matter. But most of the details of the makeup would actually be focused on the eyes. There. Before putting on makeup, of course, uh, you have to make sure that you still follow your skincare routine. So whatever skincare routine you have, you still have to do it. For the whole face and for the last step definitely you have to put on SPF to protect your uh, skin from the sun because if you're going to ride definitely your skin will be exposed so you definitely need uh, sunscreen protection there in which I'm actually done with that I'm done with my skincare I already placed uh, SPF as well so I'm now going to proceed with the makeup since now that i'm done with my skincare routine i'm going to start with the eye makeup so first i'm going to use the uh, nars radiant creamy concealer this one here it is so this is in the shade custard there this would serve as my eyeshadow primer Okay, and then I'll just blend this using my ring finger. There, and then just extend this towards the lower part of my eyes. And here, the other eye area. And then next, I'm going to use now the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous Palette. Here. 
using my Perfect Diary Beauty angled shader brush. I'm going to use the shade Agent, this one. And I'll be applying this on the crease of my eyes. Okay, and then next I'm going to use this shade uh, Top Secret. So this is the olive green shade in this palette. Using the same brush, I'm going to place this in here on the outer part of my eyes. And also on this part. Just blending that upwards towards the crease to blend the other shade as well. There, so with a tapered blending brush from Perfect Diary Beauty, going back to the shade Agent, I'm going to put on a bit in here to clean up the edges in there. Okay, next, Again, going back to my concealer, I'm going to put on a bit on the center of my eyelids. And just blend that with my finger as well. And then with my eye shader brush from Perfect Diary Beauty, I'm going to use this shade Guilt Trip and just put this where I place the concealer going back to my angled shader brush again I'm going to get the shade Top Secret and just blend the two shades together and going back to the Shade Agent. I'm going to use the short shader brush from Perfect Diary Beauty as well. And then I'm going to place this on my lower lash line. I'm going to use this uh, angled eyebrow brush. And then I'm still going to use the shade Top Secret and then just put this on the lower lash line as well but making sure that the agent shade is still peeking through. And then using the Perfect Diary Beauty Pencil Brush. I'll be using the shade VIP and place this on my brow bone. And also on the inner corner of my eyes. Okay there. So next up is the Santa Lash Pro Lashes. This is the Zumco pair of eyelashes. Although I have the complete set of Santa Lash lashes, which I showed you in a previous video. This one. There. But uh, even before they have sent me a gear box of Santa Lash Pro, I actually already have the individual uh, lashes. Although I only have three individually packaged uh, lashes, I have this one Zunko, I have Florence, and I also have Diana. There, this one. Florence and Diana. And then Zunko. Here. There. So with this one, to place the lashes, I'm going to use the Tanta Lash Pro Liner Bond. So this is 
an eyeliner and lash glue in one. So I'm just going to put this on just like how we normally use an eyeliner. I'll just let it dry for a bit before putting on the lashes. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. Fashion 21 Double Up Mascara. This is to combine my natural lashes with the false eyelashes. There, now for my brows, I'm going to use the Fashion 21 Eyebrow Gel. This is the shade Soft Brown. Okay there, so I'm done with the eyes. Next, I'm going to use a two-way cake. This is the FS Features and Shades uh, two-way cake. This is in the shade Organza. So I'm just going to put on powder where the part of the face is exposed. It can be seen through the helmet. There! Okay, next up is the blush. I'm going to use the FS Features in Shades Easy Blend Blush. This is in the shade Silky Coral Pink. So this is the Perfect Diary Beauty Angled Contour Brush, which I also use for putting on blush. This the FS Features and Shades Contour and Highlight Palette. Just going to do a, a slight contour on my nose. Okay, there. So uh, as much as I wanted to put on highlighter, I won't. <laughs> I won't put on highlighter. Why? It's because if I'm going on a ride anyway, I'm gonna oil up. I'm gonna sweat. So the thing is, if I'm gonna put on highlighter, the areas where I put on highlighter, the oils and the sweat is gonna add up. So the look would be much oilier so i don't recommend although you can but i don't recommend putting on highlighter considering the weather here in the philippines it's a no for me <laughs> now let's move on with the lips for the lip i'm going with a neutral shade so this is the maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte in the shade Nude Shot. There, so even if you remove the 
helmet, the focus of the makeup is still on the eyes. There. Okay, so actually that's it. My makeup is done. So now let's do a wear test <laughs> of this look on a modular type of motorcycle helmet. Here you go. There. So still looking fabulous even if you're wearing a helmet. <laughs> okay, so let's complete the look. I'm going to wear this uh, jacket. Okay, so I actually went for an olive green uh, halo eye makeup because of this jacket. <laughs> it actually suits the color. So that is why I went with uh, this color combination of eye makeup. Although you can uh, do any other uh, eye makeup, any other shades of eye makeup that you would like to wear. Doesn't matter. There you go. <laughs> here. So here is the final look. The thing is, I haven't placed any makeup on areas where there is uh, padding on the helmet. So it won't scrape off any makeup. But uh, considering the for visual appearance, even if you flip up the helmet or even if you close this one, still looks good. Still looks nice. There. Okay, so that's it for this look. <sighs> yeah, it's hot. <laughs> okay, so that's it for my. A simple makeup look for a motorcycle helmet, particularly a modular type of helmet. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up icon, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon in the next video. Bye!